Time for a coin review at one of our favorite spots. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. Here we are at one of our favorite spots, White River, Daleville, Indiana. And we thought we'd bring the drone in this time to show a couple different views of what this river looks like. Now that we're sitting down here at the banks, let's go ahead and take a look at the second release of the Awakening series. This would be another five ounce minted by the Sunshine Mint. They are high relief. And this would be the five ounce Infinite Liberty. Four nines fine silver and only 2,000 minted. Sort of glad I ordered this in the morning because then it cost $212 only to find it at nighttime sitting at $275. So it seems like a lot of these online dealers are playing this little game that as the inventory runs out, those premiums literally are jacking up during the day. The reverse side of this round is the same design as the first in the series, as it will be for the final six to be released yet. And my favorite line on it is, you can't wake a person who is pretending to be asleep. Now a little bit more about the obverse side of this round, and this is from S.T. Boyan. The obverse design has multiple timeless expressions of the concept of liberty. Not only is it in the fabric of our nation, true individual liberty is the ultimate object of human ambition throughout human history. In the background of the design is the Amaji symbol. Amaji is Sumerian, and it is believed to be the first written expression of the concept of liberty dating back to the 21st century BC. A common interpretation of Amaji is a release from debt, slavery, taxation, or punishment. In the foreground of the design is a stoic, iconic figure of Lady Liberty, who is derived from Libertas, the goddess of freedom, which personifies modern liberty. Her image on this beautiful piece is both raw and powerful. She adorns a Phrygian cap, which is a soft conical cap with the top bent over. These caps date back to antiquity, eventually came to represent the freed slave, and eventually evolved to symbolize freedom throughout the American 18th century, which represented republicanism and anti-monarchical sentiment, and is commonly found in traditional American coinage. The concept of liberty is timeless, universal, and integral to the manifest destiny that every American citizen is endowed. World wars have been waged over the very idea, and history will undoubtedly find itself repeated in time as liberties of populations are eroded by illegitimate rulers who wear a mask of empathy. Our liberty must be defended now as it has been throughout human history. The individual's awakening, only to see the shadow of a restraint hovering over them, slowly advancing. I'm pretty happy with this second release. It's a nice big fat coin. I like it, and I like my chunky silver, so I can't wait for the other six designs to come out. As far as the drone, this would be the first time we took the drone down by the river, tried to fly it underneath the canopy. Really never done that before. It's more been in wide open spaces yeah and it's uh didn't work so well it got a little dicey i think uh when you see this footage here i think i was past some branches and just decided to try to miss this branch above which was hard to see and whoop oh and look at that i was doing some leaf cutting and then it started going down i quickly lifted back up and didn't realize i was still on it and decided to trim a few more so I'll get going a little bit to the right here again, turn left to see what it was I hit. And abort, abort. <laughs> and there it was. So it was a close call. Um, just, you know, trying to get my rookiness out of me yet and get better with this machine. But as far as the channel, we have now hit almost every fire tower in the state but three. We have no footage left on them. So there's going to be a little bit of a break on the Silver Steeler channel as we've just run out of footage. We've had some parents that had some health issues. We've been dealing with those, and I'm getting ready to have some vacation coming up. I know I stated this in my last video, 
but I wanted to state it again only because I won't have any more videos out for about three to four weeks until we get these fire towers of gold done. And then the plan is to put a little bit more time in a winning image photography's channel and do a little bit on more on the photography and state parks without the coins. Doesn't mean I'm done with the coin videos on the Silver Steeler channel. I got a whole box of silver here that we've also been buying during these gold days that I've shown none of it off yet. I just need to find which path we're going to take once the State Park series gets done. So that's our future plans. We're out of here. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.